Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I store and defrost all of my breast milk. And just to give you a heads up, the only credentials that I have is the fact that I breastfed two babies. So I'm not a professional in any way, but I thought it would be helpful for me to kind of share with you guys my tips and tricks and kind of the process on how I do it. I know that when I was pregnant, this would have been a really helpful video for me to watch. So I hope that this helps you out and gives you a little bit of insight on how to get everything frozen and thawed out. Okay, so first I'm gonna talk about storing times. You can store your breast milk, first of all, at room temperature for four to six hours. I definitely stick to about four hours. And this might come in handy, say if you're pumping in the middle of the night and you don't wanna like get up and go down to the kitchen and put the milk away, you can actually leave the milk out for up to four to six hours. I always stick to four, but up to four to six hours like on your nightstand or just sitting at room temperature and it's still good. Um, the next thing is in the refrigerator, so you can keep your breast milk in the refrigerator for three to four days. I always stuck to three days and the reason I found that helpful was I'll show you when I go through how I store my milk but it's nice to be able to have it in there for a couple of days especially if you're busy and you don't get time to freeze it right away you can just stick it in the fridge and then lastly your breast milk stays good in the freezer for six months up to one year and again that's there's a lot of variables with that I would say stick closer to the six month range. Um, 12 months is more if you have a deep freezer or if you have a freezer that's not used as much. So six to 12 months in the freezer. Okay, so now I'm gonna get into the actual storing part. So the very first thing you wanna do is wash your hands. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands. And now I have a freshly pumped glass bottle of breast milk. I pumped this this morning. I always like to store my breast milk in four ounce portions. I feel like four ounces is just a really perfect number. Um, it fits in most bottles and it's just that's the number I've always used. So I always try to keep them at four ounces. So when I pump, I will pump and I store it in a glass bottle. And then if it's already four ounces, I go ahead and usually freeze that right away. If I have the time, if I'm in a hurry, I just keep it in the bottle. But if I have time, I freeze that right away and then whatever is left over. So let's say I pumped six ounces in the morning, then I would take four of those ounces and I would pour it into a separate um, clean, pumping bottle like this, I would pour out four ounces and then I would put that in the bag and freeze it. And then the extra two that I didn't use, I would put them in a glass bottle. I prefer glass. I just feel like it's a little bit more um, sanitary than plastic. I put it in a glass bottle with a lid and I keep it in the fridge. So then the next time that I'm pumping or maybe even the next day and I'm pumping, then I can add to that milk and then freeze that. So I like to do it that way. That way you're never like left with like awkward amounts so I always just keep a fresh clean glass bottle and fill it up until I have four ounce portions of everything and you can also find this tip really helpful in the beginning because in the beginning you usually only pump like one to two ounces like when your baby's first born and you're not going to want to freeze like little tiny amounts so you can just kind of add them up in the bottle and keep this in the fridge and then freeze it either at the end of the night or the next day once you get up to four ounces. So with that being said, this is what I pumped this morning. It's four and a half ounces, but I'm not going to let like one half ounce like really be a big difference. Um, usually if it's over an ounce, then I'll save, but otherwise I just, you know, fill it up. So as you can see, I'm rolling the milk and when you put it in the fridge, you're gonna notice that you're gonna get a lot of like white fat on the sides. So you're gonna wanna roll it up and make sure that all of that fat melts down back into the milk. So that way when you pour it in, you're getting all of the fat and you don't wanna shake it. Um, and then I'm going to take a bag. I use the Lansino bags. I've always used them. So I don't know if other bags are better. I just, once I started using them, I never used anything else. So you tear off the little piece, open it up. And this is why you wanna have clean hands because you are touching the bag, try not to get your hand like down into it, but you are still touching the top. And then I'm gonna open up the bottle and I just hold the bag like this and I pour the milk inside. Just like that. And then when you seal the bag, you're gonna wanna make sure you get out all the air 
So you can lay it down flat and just get out all that air. And then I do like these bags because they have double seals on them. So they clip twice. So looks just like that. And then you're gonna wanna take a Sharpie. I just keep one right here in the kitchen for this purpose. And I just put the date. Other people, it's got also volume, name, and time. I'm fine with just putting the date. So today is the 13th. So I put the date on there and then now it's ready to go. And once it's just like this, I actually usually just pop it in the freezer up here and set it like on the top shelf flat like this. That way it freezes. And then once it's actually frozen, I transfer it downstairs into my stockpile. So for my stockpile, I found the easiest way to do it was to organize it in large Ziploc baggies like this. So I already know that I've got a ton of four ounce bottles in here and I just put on the outside the month. So this one is from October and I have it zipped up and I just put all of my October milk bags in here. Um, some months I might have two or three October or just one. It just depends on how much I'm pumping and what my supply looks like that month. Um, but this way, if I'm traveling, which is usually the only time I use my frozen stash, I can just grab this whole bag and take it with me in a cooler bag and know that I have all of this milk. And keeping the date on the front is really helpful. So you make sure to use your oldest milk first. You're gonna wanna use the stuff that you pumped a long time ago. So keep that towards the front of your freezer. And then once you fill up um, newer bags, you're gonna tuck those back behind there. And then you can just look at the month and grab the bag and then you can like leave this one out and grab from it as needed. So I feel like this is the easiest method. I've seen tons of different methods on Pinterest, but this one really works for us. Okay, and now for the thawing portion. Um, so basically you will take one of your bags. The best way to do this is to keep it in the fridge. So if you know ahead of time, especially even overnight, pop this in the fridge and then it'll be ready to drink in the morning. And when you are putting it in the refrigerator, I would put it in the fridge just like this, that way, or even like a bigger Tupperware container. That way, if for chance there's any leakage, all of the milk will stay in this glass bowl or whatever you end up using. Um, because I've never had it happen, but I do know that bags can leak, they can have little tears in them, and that would totally suck if you just defrosted a whole bag of milk and lost all of it because of a little hole. So I would suggest putting it in a bowl while you're thawing it out. Um, and you can do it a few hours before in the fridge as well. Overnight is best. And the number one way that I end up doing it um, is just with warm water because I'm usually needing it last minute. So if you just take a bowl and fill it up with warm water, you can place the milk in here and it'll thaw out naturally with the warm water or you can also just run it under warm water. Um, try not to use hot water though because that will deplete some of the nutrients as well as the microwave. Don't ever microwave your breast milk. Um, so those are the ways that I like to do it either in the fridge or just with warm water and it's pretty simple. And then once it is fully thawed out, you can just open it up and pour it into the bottle similar to how I just poured it into the bag. And then lastly, once you have your thawed out breast milk, make sure that you're using it within 24 hours. Um, they even say to use it, I think sometimes it's a little bit stricter depending on how you read it, but definitely don't go over 24 hours. Um, if the bottle has been drank out of, don't use it over 24 hours. And then also if it's been thawed out um, and it cannot stay out as, at room temperature quite as long if it's a thawed breast milk and it cannot stay in the fridge as long. So just make sure you're using it quickly. Um, but if you are a breastfeeding mom and you end up thawing out milk and you end up not using it, I feel like that happens to me all the time. I thaw out a bottle for maybe going out to lunch or for my husband or something and we end up barely using it or just using a tiny bit um, and then it's gonna go to waste in 24 hours. So so what I like to do is put it in the baby's bath that night. Breast milk has really good um, healing properties in it. So if you pour it into their bathtub, it'll kind of just, it makes you feel like you're not wasting it. Um, another thing you can do is if your baby's on solids or oatmeal, um, you can mix it into their baby oatmeal or baby cereal, or you can also mix it into um, pureed foods. I did that a lot. When my first was starting solids, I always mixed breast milk into the pureed foods and I always used my frozen stash because I wasn't really using it to feed him with because I had a ton of milk and I'm a stay-at-home mom. So that was one thing that I found was like a really good way to use up some of my breast milk right before it was going to go bad. 
So I think that about covers everything. If you guys have questions, feel free to ask me. Like I said, I'm not a professional or anything, but I've been doing this for a while and I do feel like I have a good system down. And if you do have any questions, feel free to reach out and I will answer them for you. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Sweaty palms ain't making it much better. Something about you feels so special.